We're also talking about this low pressure area, which is, of course, Fiona. And watch what's going to happen. Fiona is taking this northward turn around this ridge of high pressure. That's why its track has been shifted over the past several days. This hasn't changed very much in the past few days, but just off to the north and to the northeast, not making it anywhere near the U.S. And speaking of Hurricane Fiona, this is what we have tonight. The center of the storm very close and bringing heavy rain still to the western side of Puerto Rico. And you can see it is going to be nearing Dominican Republic with tropical storm conditions perhaps this evening and then hurricane uh, conditions possible there tonight as it continues moving to the north and curving around eventually to the northeast. Here is the track though getting again as I said very close to the coast of Dominican Republic as a category one hurricane likely still still bringing rain at this point to Puerto Rico unfortunately and then heading off maybe even becoming a category two by by some point tomorrow and a category three looks possible by Tuesday. So that would be our first major hurricane of the season. The track then takes it off to the north and northeast and brings it at this point, perhaps uh, outside of the uh, Bermuda, the island of Bermuda. But we will see. We'll kind of have to see what happens with the track there. One other spot is being highlighted from the National Hurricane Center. Very low chance of actually developing. It's this one spot way outside of uh, really anywhere near the islands of the Caribbean or the U.S. and this one is just drifting to the north with a low chance of development and that's it that we're looking for any other development besides Fiona for this week. So we continue in South